Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be discussing the fall of the three standing sisters, Blister, Blaze, and Burn, as well as going into detail about their relationships, flawed plans, and what ultimately led to their downfall. Because even before hatching, they were all doomed to never get the throne. This video is recommended to me by Mothwing the Medicine Cat, so thank you so much for this idea. Before I start the video, a huge shout out to my patrons. Crazy Roblox Man, Drag1195, Springtail Productions, Three Moons, and Ortrix. Thank you so much for supporting me. Links to their social medias are in the description down below. This video does contain spoilers for nearly all of Arc 1, so if you haven't yet finished Book 5, then please click off. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. In order to understand why the Three Standing Sisters were doomed from the start, one must look all the way back to their hatching, and even before that. Queen Oasis of the Sandwing started off by killing both her sisters when her dragonets hatched, that way there would only be three candidates to the throne. The three female dragonets she had were Burn, the eldest, Blister, the middle child, and Blaze, the youngest. From the start, things already weren't looking good for the three sisters. Their mother was a paranoid queen, worrying everyone was going to steal the throne from her. And Blister, Blaze, and Burn became her immediate worries when they hatched. However, Oasis chose her favorites, as shown by open favor towards some of the sisters rather than others. Burn was Oasis's favorite, and the two of them actually got along. Though Oasis often talked poorly of Blaze and her stupidity, she actually took a liking to the youngest Sandwing princess. But as for Blister, she was the one Oasis was the most worried about. She saw her daughter as nothing more than a threat, always scheming and thinking of ways she could take the throne for her mother. And in truth, she wasn't that far off. Being a princess is already enough stress to put on a dragon, especially with the whole you-can-kill-your-mother-to-get-the-throne aspect, but Oasis' behavior and tendencies did not help the situation. So, we'll be taking a deep dive in each of the three standing sisters, their role in the war, and their relationships with each other. Because the relationships they had with one another were far from good, and was one of the reasons why the War of Standing Session happened in the first place. Burn was the toughest, scariest, and cruelest dragon to walk modern Pyra. She found joy in mutilating animals and obsessing over oddities, and had a reputation as being one of the most dangerous dragons in Pyra. She was cruel and merciless to even those who supported her, and as quoted by the Wings of Fire Wiki, expected unquestioning disobedience. Burn wasn't afraid to harm anyone who displeased her. During the war, she gained her allies by controlling weaker tribes through fear and promises of peace treaties between her allies. Then there's Blister, the most clever of the three sisters, yet incredibly sinister. Though she didn't have Burn's strength, she outmatched her when it came to intelligence and wit. Blister was manipulative and menacing, and dragons often feared being in her presence. She gained her allies through manipulation, abusing some of her greatest skills. Though Burn and Blister did not have a good relationship with each other, they still preferred, preferred one another over their dopey younger sister, Blaze. Blaze, though she lacked intelligence, had great beauty and was a kind dragon when she didn't think of herself. She was at least cruel out of the candidates for the throne, but even Oasis agreed that she would have made a horrible queen. Blaze obtained her allies by land promises, and was agreed protection by Glacier. The two of them seemed to have a positive relationship during their time as allies, but even the Icewind Queen knew that Blaze just wasn't cut out for being an actual queen. There's so much beneath the surface of each of the three standing sisters. Usually when people hear the names Blister, Blaze, and Burn, they think of simple character traits for each one. But there's a lot to them that really went unnoticed beneath the chaos and resolving the conflict of the Ark. Burn liked the war for its stakes and the excitement surrounding it, and wanted the throne, believing she was the strongest and fiercest dragon for the job. As said by Starfight, if Burn had won the war, she would have likely kept it going for her own enjoyment and thrill. Blister believed she could make for the greatest queen, and thought that she was smarter and better than any dragon in the room. She took others for a fool, even if in reality, they did match or even outweigh her in intelligence. For example, her treatment of Thorn and how she saw her as automatically weak and stupid, just because she wasn't her. Blaze wanted to win the war just so she could enjoy the best aspects of queenliness. She dreamed of parties, feasts, respect, and fanciness. All the best things. She let her ego get in the way and chose to ignore the true hardships any queen must face. Instead, she only thought of how it would benefit her and lived under the delusion that she would have been a fantastic queen, despite her openly admitting to finding politics boring and military stuff confusing. The entire war was caused by the hatred each sister had for the others. Each one thought she would be a better queen than her sisters, and when Oasis died by hands that weren't any of theirs, they couldn't come to an agreement. 
and so an entire 18-year war broke loose, the War of Saving Secession. Instead of talking things out and choosing which sister should be the queen, they would have rather started a war that ended with thousands of innocent dragons losing their lives, all because they were too self-centered to see a future where they weren't on the throne, and too petty to let one of their sisters win. It truly is sad to see. While Blister and Byrne respected each other to some degree, it also became overshadowed by their own motives. They would have been happy to kill the other, and especially Blaze if given the chance. Definitely one of their fatal flaws is underestimating others. This ultimately led to Byrne's death after being shocked by Blister's backup plan, and Blister underestimating Thorne's abilities and overestimating her own power by wanting to steal the Eye of Onyx. Thankfully, in the end, two of the worst of them lost their lives. Byrne died by Blister's second dragon bite viper, that she had bite her, and Blister died from touching the Eye of Onyx as an unworthy dragon from the throne. Blaze still lives on, living happily untouched, and still able to live the life she wanted. She was ultimately misguided, and is free to live a pleasurable and relaxing life without being on the throne and dealing with the responsibility she inevitably couldn't handle. It's just sad to think that none of this wouldn't have happened if Blister, Blaze, and Burn had just had a little more humility and a larger heart that cared for others, not just themselves. Anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.